Hi, Mark here from Lydian Stream. A lot of people over the years have asked me if it's important to know theory of music. I explain to people that there's all sorts of levels of theory of music and in the end theory of music is not something apart from music. Theory of music is merely the language that explains how we use music in the Western musical system in the same way we know how to read and write together with talking. Let me give you an example of what I mean by understanding theory of music in the Western world. Very, very simple. Okay, what just happened? My ears, and I'm sure most people's ears out there, need to hear a resolution. If I do it with chords, it sounds something like this. Different kind of way, but the same outcome. What do we want to hear next? What do we want to hear next? We want to hear this. Right? Okay. Is that important to know? No, our ears will take us there. Why will our ears take us there? Because from the moment we're born, we're hearing this system, and this system is implanted into our brain and develops into expectations, and those expectations need to be rewarded all the time. That's how our brains work. For example, let me give you an example. I know that there's a thing called a deceptive cadence. A cadence is when I do this, and I resolve it. That's called a cadence. A, decept a deceptive cadence would be if I resolve it in a different way. I'll do it with chords, for example. What I did before, we went like here. And instead of resolving it to the way I is expect, I go, oh, what just happened? Let me do that again. Oh, I resolved it, but it's still not really resolves. And then to really nail it home, I can go. discover that by myself and I did as a kid because I never took any lessons and I taught myself guitar and until the age of 24 you know I was just teaching myself and then afterwards when I learned theory I realized well I could have cut a lot of corners if somebody had just explained that to me on the other hand I'm really dyslexic so it's not that easy to explain it to me we all learn in a different ways so how is it helpful well if you understand theory of music but not as an independent thing, nothing to do with making music, then these become very powerful tools we can take on board to help us improve our playing, improve our improvising, improve our arranging, improve our production work. I'm going to leave you with one very small point, something I'm going to carry on in the next video. In Western music, and we're talking about Western music, we have 12 notes. Here they are on the guitar. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, back to the beginning, is the first note. And yet we only have seven names for those 13 notes. Originally they were Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, and today they're C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And the question I leave hanging in the air is, why do we have 12 notes with seven names kind of weird names that we turned into C, D, E, F, G, and then the rest of the notes only have the name of sharp or flat. Within that question is the whole basis of Western theory, why we need it, and how to use it in the music on a daily basis. I'm going to lay out some simple theory in a couple of videos on my channel over the next couple of weeks, starting from the fundamentals of Western theory, they're really useful, you take on board what you need, they're applicable on all instruments, and here we go again one more time, just to remember what we're dealing with. Only good stuff, let the music lead.